Four stolen guns with few thieves ever getting caught. A gun show that comes through the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds is seeing more attempts to steal weapons. So we wanted to know what's being done to keep guns out of criminals' hands. News 5's Kevin Berry found out the fairgrounds is making organizers increase security. Right here, within an arm's length away, a guy's stealing a gun from me. We got it on film. In just the last two years. Well, they try, yes. Oh, well, they try constantly to steal from us. Alan DeCola's had two guns stolen from his display inside the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds during the Ohio gun, knife, and military shows. We caught him in the act. Those incidents are part of eight stolen gun reports from the show in the last three years. Only two guns reported stolen were recovered. One of them was from Alan. When we have those reports, we feel that that's part of our security in, in action. Fair Board President Tim Fowler says they don't consider the reports to be a trend, but after February's show, they told organizers they'd have to get more security. That's on top of the uniformed and plainclothes police officers already posted in each building and walking through the crowd. We collectively sat down and, and talked about the need and they stepped up and are providing that need. Here at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds parking lot, there are already signs that show people all sales have to happen inside the fairgrounds buildings. But now the fair board is telling gun show organizers they want extra police patrolling this parking lot to make sure those rules are enforced. I talked to the officer that was at the last gun show and uh, he, he averaged, uh, he said, about 27 miles traveling just around the fairground. Fowler says it's already made a difference. That officer claimed there were three times where it seemed like people might have been trying to make private sales out of their car trunks in the parking lot, breaking the fairground rules. In his presence, the trunk was closed and they left. We couldn't reach the gun show organizers for this story, but Fowler says the show is paying the bill for the extra officers, and so far, Fowler says it's working. We we think the presence is having a big impact. At the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. Well, the fairgrounds tried to stop hosting the gun show in the 1990s after public pressure. The gun show organizers won a lawsuit against the fair board. That suit makes fairgrounds available to anyone who wants to rent the space for the same price, regardless of their event.